guys welcome to another video so if you want to see how i made these spiral locks then just keep on watching so today i'm going to try to make a spiral lock so i saw this on etsy and it's a hair tie that you can use and i will try to find a picture of one and insert it but i was looking at it and i was like i think i can make that so there's a little YouTube searching, saw a couple of videos, and so then I got some materials. And so we're gonna try to see if I can do it. So you're gonna need like some jewelry wire. I got this off of Amazon and it was pretty cheap. This is three millimeters. You're going to need um, some wire cutters. So I'm combining two different methods that I saw. So I got some pipe cleaner, which I also got off Amazon. Um, I have this E60 glue on standby in case I need it. I'm not sure that I will. And then this is the fabric. So this was an old bonnet that I had that fell apart, but I really liked the material. And so I kept it because I was like, someday I'm going to be able to do something with it. So I think today is the day. So the first thing I did was because this is an odd shaped fabric. So I just measured, I measured the wire across the widest part and then folded it. And then when I folded it, this is what I got. So it'll fit in here. And so based on what I saw in the videos, you just really have to, you have to twist the wire together to try to get it to, Kind of thicken up so i'm going to do that with this and when i get to the end i'll be back okay i'm back so i've twisted it together and then i have this kind of blunt end so you need to kind of fold that over because you don't want that to stick you and so you can just use your wire cutter to fold that over And then now here's where the pipe cleaner comes into play. So you take your pipe cleaner and you're just going to wrap it around and you'll need a few. And that bag I got from Amazon, I think there was like a 200 in there and it's not that much. So I'm going to wrap this all the way down and then once it's done i'll come back okay guys so i'm back and i've wrapped the entire wire with pipe cleaner i think i want to do one more time so i'm going to basically do another wrap of pipe cleaner on this so that um it can be doubled up because this is something i'm using on my hair so i'm going to do that and then I'll come back and we'll start to do the wrapping it into the fabric. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So I've wrapped this twice with pipe cleaner. And then based on what I saw in the video, you just have to roll the fabric. So remember what I did for this fabric is I measured it across the widest part. So this will be covered completely in fabric. But like when you start down here, it's not going to be but that's i think will be okay so i don't think you need glue but just to be safe i'm just going to take a little bit of e60 and just put it like right here just so that um, as i start wrapping if you know hopefully the fabric will catch so let me do that I'm just using just a little bit of that and then I'm going to start wrapping. I'm going to try to do this as tightly as I possibly can. I'm just going to pull and wrap and roll. Okay guys, so I'm at this point and I can tell you I slightly messed up a little 
because I was supposed to have enough ends on both sides to fold this in and I don't. So I'm going to have to go back and kind of readjust this over a little. Um, so, and I'll, you know, start over and slide this over just a little. And then hopefully that way when I get to the middle again, I'll have the space I need. So I'll get back to that point and then I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I made this wire a little too long for this fabric and that's okay, it's a learning. So I do have a little bit of fold room over here and then a very little bit of fold room over here. So I'm gonna, you know, try to fold in that corner a little bit and roll. And then the same, I'll fold in this corner a little bit. I mean, the corners are covered, but ideally I would have wanted, you know, a little more, but that's okay. I mean, it will still work. This won't be pretty, but I'll figure out some kind of way to cover that up. I still need to use a piece of twine or string to kind of close this off completely. So it is wrapped. And again, because this is such an odd shaped fabric, but I really like this and I didn't want to get rid of it. So, I mean, it has a little character. So the next thing that you need to do is you need some, tw some twine. So I got this from Michaels. And so you want to wrap this around here and that will keep it together. So, Basically, you kind of start with a knot. And then you're just going to wrap it down the material to keep it together. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I'm back. So that's what it's looking like. And that first twine I had, I felt like, like after I wrapped it, I felt like it was a little too thin. I mean, I left it on there. You can kind of still see it. But then I went and got my thicker twine and then wrapped the ends. So I think this is actually pretty cute. Um, looks handmade, which I mean it is, and you literally just bend it around your hair and it'll hold your hair. And so this one is shorter. So like as my, right now my hair is, cause I'm newly locked. So I couldn't even use this for my hair right now. Uh, but if I was, as when I was a loose natural, I could have used this when my hair was blown out because my afro would have been too big. But as my hair grows, I could use, you know, those half up, half down styles. And because I have smaller locks, uh, they're thinner, so I'll be able to get a little more in them. So I think some things that I would do differently, like again, I'm really happy with this. I think it's cool for a first attempt. Um, and it, the fabric isn't going anywhere. You can kind of shape it how you need to around your, you know, your hair. And I didn't, I used like that little bit of glue you saw. And I think I'm going to use a little glue on this end right here to kind of make, stick that down. But aside from that, I'm pretty happy with how this looks. So things I would do differently next time. 
I would probably use, well, not probably, I would use a more um, square or rectangular shaped fabric. And I would measure the wire a little shorter across the fabric so that I had enough room on each side to fold it in so that they were clean. Although, like, I kind of do like the way that looks. But anyway, so I would do that differently. Definitely go with like a thicker twine. Um, and I think that's about it. So, you know, I have a bandana that I don't really use. I got it because I really like the color and I don't use it. So I think I'll try again and make uh, one with that one. And if I can get it to look how I want it to, then I will pop it in at the end of the video. So I will hopefully have another one in here. And that's about it. So, you know, as I've said in my previous DIYs, I like trying things. I like making things. And when I saw that playing around on Etsy, I was like, I really think I can do this. And for a first try, not too bad. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye. Okay, guys, really quick. I know I ended the video, but I wanted to pop back on because I did make another one. I made one with this bandana that I hadn't been using. And this is how it turned out. And same thing, you just, you know, around your hair. So this one is longer because the bandana, you know, it's bandana size. But not too bad. So if you've seen those and you're like, I'm not going to pay all of that money that people are asking, which I understand now after trying to make these, why they cost as much as they do. Here's a video that you can try to make it yourself. So again, so hope this helps. And really this time, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye.